three, so we get lots of history. Um, cool. So this will be a world just to read in Legends. Very high savagery. I want the civilizations to survive. Because <laughs> I don't intend on actually playing in this world. The Age of Goblins. And this gives the opportunity for the factions to kind of grow and flourish and do things. Why is it the Age of Goblins? Interesting. Already intriguing. Yeah, no, if I'm going to play it, I'll bump up the savagery, but since I'm not playing in this world... Hmm. I mean, there's plenty of dwarven forts. There's no, like, towers or anything. What does it count as events? Uh, any sort of thing that happens in the world. It means 90% of the population is goblin. I mean, I could always cancel it. Planets of Dawning. I mean, I see plenty of humans up there. Yeah, let's start over. Abort. Let's go again. The Golden Age. Well, that time we actually have... Uh, evil spawning. Oh, I think the world's dead. <laughs> Yeah, it's back into the Age of the Goblin. Those Necro Towers got out of control real early in that one. <laughs> that might be the fastest 550-year gen world I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know why I saved it. I should have aborted that one. Goblins always win. That's not true. Goblins are uh, just real strong. Let's go very long. Very high number of civilizations. Lower number of sites. We'll just leave those on medium. Go. Age of the Mountain Titan. Our necro towers, but some are dead. A couple dwarven fortresses are left. Looks like humans got annihilated. A little bit of human up there in the top right by the glaciers, but... Sometimes? Most of the times, the undead win. Yeah, this is a dead world. Try it again. We need a lot of Dwarven Fortresses to pop up really early. The Beloved Hill. There we go. A couple Necromancers spawning. A few dead towers. That's what we need. Um. I don't know, actually. What they need to do. Yeah, the Age of the Goblin again. Darn. You know, if I, I wonder if I bump up Mineral Occurrence if that'll buff the dwarves. Because we're not going to play in this world. So let's bump up Mineral Occurrence. See what that does. If that would give the, the dwarves better. Age of the, of the Oaken Clearing. Oh. And she killed two demons. Yeah, it is immediately interesting. Question is, will the dwarves live? Also, look at that one dwarven fort that, like, keeps respawning constantly. Oh, they finally died. I don't think there's a single dwarven fortress that's left. They're all destroyed. Who's N? I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't think there's any dwarven forts left. This one here respawned like a billion times. Yeah, I don't see any elves left. How is this not Age of the Goblin? Yeah, I want to know who N was too. A god titan? Yeah, highly likely. That's it's region 14. Historical figures. Oh, interesting. The first one is a dragon who died in year three. <laughs> N. The. Hmm. Question is. Swamp Titan. This is N. Grottel, Grottel Glund, the Oaken Clearing of Ravens. N. Grotteland, the Oaken Clearing of Ravens, was a Swamp Titan. It was the only one of its kind, a gigantic three eyed starling. It has large mandibles, and it's, and it has a austere look about it. Its goblin yellow feathers are fluffed out. Beware its poisonous bite. It was associated with water, plants, nature, muck, and animals. Hmm. Yep, an overworld forgotten beast. Doesn't seem to be dead, but it attacked a few things. It's got six six kills. It's related to a ton of stuff. Hasn't really done anything thing since the year 234. The question is... Because I've been thinking about making a second fortress and having two fortresses running. wonder how interesting it would be to make a fortress in this world. I mean, it's possible. Interesting. We had a very short... The Age of Dragon and Swamp Titan, which then became the Age of Swamp Titan, basically. Yeah, it seems to be like... A god figure. Dwarf Eurus Channel Ages became the queen of the Girder of Wires. The Age of Dragon and the Swamp Titan was a time when the dragon parched, parched flicker, the golden vault, and the Swamp Titan N of Ravens were the only great powers in the world. Yeah, and then it seems like the, the dragon died really quickly. Let's just jump to the bottom of this if we can. In the year three, the second pillaging of Lustrius occurred, and the brilliant Velvet defeated the Unions of Will and pillaged Lust Raustrums. Man, those Titans all died fast. I mean, there wasn't a lot of them to begin with, but... So this is a frequent metals world. If we did start a fortress in this, we would immediately, everything would just immediately die. I might just shut my camera off for a little bit. Until the sun goes away. In the League of Sweetness? Where's that? 
Diamond Furnaces, League of Swiss. Oh, there we go. Whoopsies. It was a human group from the Plain of Soul. The League of Sweetness of the Unions of Will was founded in clouted clothes. Labors of vomit, definitely goblins. Dutiful Band was a group from the Plain of Soul. Goblin Civilization, Dwarven Group. So the Dwarven Civilization, the Girder of Wires. Is the Dwarven Civilization in the Plain of Soul? Be interesting, Cyrilline. It would just be fortress building? Uh, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> no, it would not. Just be fortress building. Because... Let's just go to... Yeah, there's no dwarves left. So you'd immediately get royalty. For one thing. And you'd also, the map is so small, there'd be zombies and goblins and people invading you in this immediately. The Fly of Excava Excavations. One of the only ones left. Goblin Civilization, what's the other one that's left? Historical Maps. Passionate Creation, the Seducer of Principles, and the Incinerated Dungeon. So no, it, it wouldn't just be base building. A giant DF mosh pit. It kind of is. So yeah, immediately getting that kind of pressure would be interesting. The Young Kingdom. The human civilization in the Plain of Soul. Yeah, that's, that's the scary thing. When did the dwarves go extinct, I wonder? So, roughly... Yeah. In the 800s, the dwarves went extinct. So, yeah, I would assume the only dwarves left would either be enslaved populations, or would be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Refugees. Like I'm looking around, I all I'm seeing is evil. Yeah, non-dwarven cultured dwarves. You could get some really interesting things. And because metal will be very abundant on this map. I don't know, I'm actually kind of considering making a fort on this map. What do you guys think? There's also like a, is that you agreeing with me? I don't know what just plus means. Could be an interesting like short term fort. And then we can go back to ale harvest tomorrow. And I'll also keep things fresh. What's the G's in the West? Let's find out. Probably goblins. The Lie of Cuts is the name of the faction. Let's find out a little bit about the Lie of Cuts. It was a goblin civilization of the Plain of Soul, founded in year one. The useless dungeon of the Lie of Cuts was founded in uh, Ghoul Call. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the Lie of Cuts, a uh, goblin civilization.
But yeah, it seems to just be goblin groups. The Union of Will. Because, like, if we were to put a... F okay, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. We found a fortress in this small world and do the exact opposite of what I always do. What I always do is, you know, take time, build up, and try and make the dwarves as happy as possible. What if, instead of doing that, we just make a beeline for military shit, get metal up and rolling immediately, keep the fortress very small and optimal, and food is, like, minimal, and just try and go to war immediately. Just high action, high potential for problems. Yeah, let's do that. All right, well, this has been a very short legend session, so let's make this a little bit longer. Um, I've also increased the, I just, in, in behind the scenes, just increased the, uh, the, 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 the dwarf cap and I'm getting chicken attacked. So let's read the description of Parched Flicker. Parched Flicker, the golden vault, was a dragon. He was the only one of his kind, associated with wealth and fire. Settled in Mangdeeps, Midspring attacked the vigorous fellowship in Braved Qual. The human Das, his upper back tooth, was torn off by Parched Flicker. Must have been a small dragon to get all the way up in there to grab the back tooth. The Ashen Forgotten Beast. Issa was a forgotten beast, the only one of his kind. A gigantic eight-legged stegosaurid. With external ribs, it undulates rhythmically, and its black scales are blocky and close set. Beware its deadly dust. Isa was associated with death in caverns. Isa began wandering the depths of the world in time before time. One notable kill and two other kills related entities, the diamond furnaces and the girder of wires. By a human indeed, yeah. So what what was the name of the the Oaken Swamp Titan? What are some related entities to the Swamp Titan? It's Lair, Veil Feral. Let's look up its lair. Sites. Veil. Could it not be put in sites? Underground regions, potentially? Structures? Hmm. Why not embark onto the air? I mean, nah. I mean, maybe a cave. Where would caves, caves be listed? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I can't search for Swamp Titan. Veil Feral. Hmm. Yeah, I can't seem to uh, search for it. Let's look up a goblin, the last goblin that he killed. Samutsu. Sin Arrow. What's the name of you? Sin Arrow. No. Historical figures. Sin. Or did I misread that? Oaken Swamp Titan. What was the, the last name of that goblin that you killed? Oh, Sin Narrow, not Arrow. Brr.
There you are. Yeah, I, I figured it out. Sorry. <laughs> Without looking at chat either. I'm just that smart. Since the 870s, the dwarves have hidden away from the world, and now they shall reappear and fight those who destroyed them. And yeah, something like that. It was the youngest son of Snag Oracle Terror. Okay, well, let's just jump down to the bottom. Seem to, uh, this goblin seems to have uh, helped par participated in various foot races. Was the victor. Became lovers with somebody and then confronted the Titan N Grotto Gland, the Oaken Clearing of Ravens, and was struck down by the Swamp Titan N Grotto Gland, the Oaken Clearing of Ravens. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm really actually extremely curious to see what the Steam version of Legends looks like. Like, I'm so excited to see what that looks like. 1,988 subscribers to 2,000 before... And I'm almost at 2,000 on YouTube. Which subs have dropped a bit, though. We're at 239. But it's all good. Hmm. Let's see, what did you worship? You were a dubious worship of Daja, Daja Optic of du, Dasa, D-I-S-A. Hmm. D-I-S-A. A force. Dasa was a force said to permeate in the emerald forests. Dasa is associated with rivers and nature. What else did you worship? <laughs> hmm. Nar, the death of Ash. Let's look that up. That sounds very goblin-y. Nar, the... It's a dwarven god. Nar the Death of Ash is a deity that occurs in the myths of the decent of the decent mountain. Nar was often depicted as a skeletal male dwarf and was associated with death. In the early summer of 150, Nar received the worship of Kodal Orchskin. Female dwarf, born in 80, died in 197 was a dwarf of unknown parentage, but all became the mayor of the ceiling of worship. The dark monster Lilith, the Oblivion of Dust, attacked Kodal. The dark monster, the Oblivion of Dust, fought with Kodal while defeated, the latter escaped unscathed. They defended against many furious assaults. Yeah, it seems like it. Killed five goblins. The town uh, was struck down. Oh, Kodal was struck down by Datan Soothclasp with wispy clothes with blockade trine in crypt dusk. Hmm. Blockade doctrine. I need to look that up. That's got to be an artifact. Blockade Doctrine. Bismuth Bronze Short Sword. Blockade Doctrine was a legendary bronze short sword. A Bismuth Bronze Short Sword. All craft or ships is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of donkey hoof. It was lost in the jungle of rising in the year 230. 20 kills. Tatan Soothclasp. The Wispy Clothes. The Dwarf. Who died in... 230, got 20 kills with it. Many humans, dwarves, and goblins. Soothe clasp. Who are you?
Did I misread that? There we go. But they devoured their kills like an elf? Interesting. Stop being a brewer, became an enemy. Attacked goblins. Attacked wife. Yeah. This dwarf too. The tan devoured a duck of the Diamond of Furnace and Spirit Holes. Attacked Urvad Cobalt Battle. Struck down Irvon Corbalt Battle in Short Halls and Sport Halls and devoured Urvad Corbalt Battle. This is another dwarf. At least I think. Yeah, female dwarf, right? Was a dwarf born in so in 69 was the eldest daughter of Vubak Oiled Clasps and Meng Bride Lurens of the Rumored Mountain. The bleak creature of Tunnel Knights, the Murky, attacked Detan in the year 70. As at the year of one. It's a buffalo monster? What do you mean? Goblin gave him a curse in 84. Where's that? The Tans... Mm. The Goblin Ut seduced. The Subdue Quaid attacked the Tan. Mm. Eyeless Man of Urn. Uh, Tautri Crypt Tunnels the Urn Shade attacked the Tan. I don't see that. Where, where did it become a monster? Well, you tried an apple. I hope I can help you. Hope I can help you nap. That's it. Yeah, I don't see where they became a monster. Like, are you sure it's 84? I'm looking at all of the 84 posts, because there's four of them. In early autumn, the Tan's mouth was smashed open. Boots attended to subdue... Bi oh, I see. There you go. It's uh, passing on the buffalo monster curse. Yeah, I got you there in Kiss Wield. And the Tan's lower lip was smashed by the goblin. Okay, there you go. So I guess it's a were-creature then. Attacking and devouring, attacking and devouring. Attacked an elf, good riddance, devoured them. Man. <laughs> well, I want to know how many kills the town got here. Let's find out. It's got to be a few. Especially notables. Man. 23 notable kills. And 111 other kills, including that duck. Yeah, just a were creature. A were buffalo. A were buffalo. A were buffalo. That's a. Mid spring, he devoured a dog. Died of old age in 230. Man, nobody was able to slay it. The Crystal of Periwinkles, object of casual worship. Dwarven God. The Crystal of Periwinkles was a deity that occurs in the myths of descent of the mountain. The crystal was most often depicted as a, as a male dwarf and was associated with jewels. Real menace indeed. But then again, how many were creatures do we actually get to kill, right? So many of them just like pop in and then like run away immediately, right? All right. Well, let's 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 embark on this town. How glowy am I? Still pretty glowy. I'll just leave the camera off a little bit longer.
Let's go embark, shall we? And have two forts running simultaneously, because I wanted to do this for a little bit to kind of keep things spicy and fresh. All right. Now, where do we settle? This was a dwarven fortress that, uh, you know, got destroyed many, many times. Let's see. Neighbors. Like, neighbors and tower. And then f evil forts. Fort tower, fort, fort. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Interesting. There's some tower that that we must be at peace with.